Junkin Poo over here in Portville. We get this bike off. It's definitely set up. Not too bad looking though. They had these rags taped like this all the way around the blinkers and stuff so the tarps wouldn't go through them. I've been pulling them off. All kinds of grease rags they got now. Always looking for grease rags. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Pop some of the din out of this tank. If you see the other video, it's a really big din. I still got some reed in there. And I tried the hair dryer and the compressed air. And I think a little bit more come out, but it was didn't impress me. But I don't think I had it hot enough. It was a little breezy. I should have took the tank in the garage. It's just sitting on there. Some stuff moved around. It's raining out here today. This one's getting spark. Put a little bit of oil just to make sure it on the cylinders before I cranked it. And this one's getting spark. So hopefully these two will be the runners. And like we said before, we sold the one that went to Canada, which is pretty good. I'm not sure. I guess he restores them and he had a few of the old 305s. And I sold the welder just now that was sitting here. It was like this one, it needed work. Um, the guy was going to an electronic class and was looking for something to work on. My, my extension cord had it setting out here where we could turn it on. I had some gas in here, I didn't want to turn it on around the gas. And so yeah, it's another day in Porville. A few projects going, trying to get stuff done. I see the leaves are turning different colors. This here. I snapped this plug off, trying to put oil on the cylinder on that one. I was being gentle, I oiled it and put the pry bar on there and it started going. So that would have to, not sure if this motor rolls over, I haven't tried it. Got to hook the juice to it, seems it doesn't have a kickstarter. I always like them with both. So I'm going to let it soak and maybe stick the battery on there and see if it'll crank. I've got oil in this one, soaking. Got a couple bites on it, it's actually on the computer for I think 250. Needs a lot of work. Then, got, got that gas tank cut in half that was sitting out here. See if they take it. I don't know if that's today or tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. They get them aluminum frames if anybody wants them. Probably break them up. They'll leave them here. I'll break them up. Might do that today. Keep the frames. But, but I understand aluminum's going way down and... Everything's going to be going down, except for maybe the catalytic converters. I got part of my floor out of here. This is the good side. That needs a, a bolt in it. This is the bad side. I got to figure out whether I want to fix this. I've fixed them probably worse than this before. I got a whole Brand new roll of duct tape and a broom. Oh, that wouldn't hold. Yes, yeah, so I wonder how much of my loads I were losing. I, that's why I usually put it in barrels. I knew these were bad and I cut that other thing out. It was butchered up where the gooseneck used to be in here. So, yeah, you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I got that chunk of metal. I might cut some and brace it and mainly to get it square when I start, but the tailgate is pretty bent up, so I can't really put that on there and shut it and expect it to be square like it's supposed to be. That side's solid, but this side I'd have to get it pulled back, maybe a come along, get it pretty close where I still got some, best thing to do would actually be to get another tailgate, get it on there and get it shut. 
that ain't all bent up. They don't go to bracing it. And, or get rid of it and get another truck. Still runs good. I already got my winch set up up there, so I hate to just grab another truck, even though I've had this on quite a few different trucks. I actually fit Dodge, Chevy, Ford. I probably had this on five different trucks, this frame thing here. It's really starting to come down. And it feels good. So we're still on the hunt for the bell housing. The one guy didn't have it, and he gave us about five more numbers today. So we called one guy so far out of the five, and he says, I think I got that. Of course, got to get back with him tomorrow. Always something, but what can you do? And if not, I guess I'm going to have to try to see if I can get this one. Probably run it to a, um engine cleaner and get in here and see if I can heat it up all the cracks and clean it up the best I can and take it to the place that welds them but see what they tell me I'm going to give it another week of looking for it and that's what I'm going to do I want to get this motor back in I brought this out because it started raining I had that welder sitting out here I like to get stuff so it's easy access if people buy it. I ain't got to move a bunch of stuff. Get them on their way. And... Anyway. Still a mess around here. Anybody want to buy a motorcycle? Junk and pool over here in Portville. Thanks for stopping. I got to get in out of the rain. Have a good day. Go find some junk. Or maybe an umbrella if you're around Portville. Yeah, bye.